teaching people on the street. You like said John and what? John 629. <clears throat> like what you're doing right now, I don't believe in most of the stuff that you're doing, but the, the general thing that you're doing is trying to uh, spread information, which is part of the work too. You right. consider that work too. I, I'll read it. Go ahead, yeah. So, go ahead. I'm waiting for you to read it. So it's, uh, John 6, 29, Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God that ye believe on him who he has sent. So I feel like the, uh, according to that scripture, my breakdown, that the work of God is uh, the, the, the belief that the Lord was the Messiah. Right. That's part that's of the works. That's, that's the faith. That's the faith. But without... The actual work is dead. That's the faith. That's the work of faith. That's having the faith. Read that in there. Let so, me read. That's so, that. like say for example, like if you standing out here teaching, you could do that. But if people chose to teach inside of the building, or if you don't necessarily teach like this, but on your day to day life, you always talking to people every day that you interact with. You doing the work right there, and you're not necessarily doing it so everybody can see you like that. You know what I'm saying? So there could be a lot of people doing the work that it might not seem like it because they're not on front street. Mm -hmm. Like I'm out here teaching, which is no problem. But there could be a lot of people doing the work. Okay, so what do you do? Do you do it this way then? Since you're saying it like saying it that way, since you want to go there with it. So when you teaching people on your day to day without being out here in the forefront, are you doing it like this? Cause it's a certain way you're supposed to do it. Either way, either way it goes, it's still a certain way it's supposed to get done. Are you doing this when you're doing? When you teaching your fellow brother on your side, are you doing this? This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. So you do you do that? Do you cry out loud? Do you spare? You know what I mean? You you, you still gotta. You, it's crying out. You gotta speak, you gotta let people, it says lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So when you teaching on your, your your homie or whoever the case, whoever it is, are you are, are you lifting your voice like a trumpet? Or are you just talking to him? So like I said, man, you gotta do the work. This is the work of the Heavenly Father, man. This is what Yahweh Shai did though. We have to be like him, right? In order to be like him, we gotta do the same thing he did. We have, all the disciples did it. They went out and taught. They didn't just teach one person. They taught, they but went and, 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 and to big, you know, congregations, not congregations, but on the highways and hedges, and they taught the people. What, what, what you're saying is they was teaching the law of Moses. No, no, not not after Christ died. They was teaching, you know, the, the uh, about Christ. Paul, Peter, even after Christ died, they was teaching about Yahweh Shai. Because what I'm saying is that the, law, the laws of Moses... They were in place at a certain point of time, but those specific uh, set of laws are not in play anymore. Where that's in the scriptures? Well, I can't. Well, okay, I'm, it's, I can it, try to find them on my phone. Well, try, because it's not in there. I just, I just read that you're supposed to establish the law. That's in the New Testament, bro. Say, for example, in the New Testament, it tells you uh, every man is supposed to have one wife. No, it don't. It says every man it supposed to have one. It says it says the, a man that desires the house of a bishop. It don't say every man no, supposed to have. Yes, it does. Scripture. That's not the scripture. We'll, should, we'll pull it up now. I'm thinking of uh, every a woman have her own husband and every man have his own wife. So that's just an example of showing you a different a different law all to, all together. It's like say for example, every man has his own wife, every woman has his own husband. Is that a mosaic law? No. That's a new law, so how can you be under the Mosaic law? It's the 613, uh, when that's not, that's a whole different law. So the, the, what about women talking in church? That's, 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 that's in the New Testament. Right. That's in the New Testament. Well, obviously they, but, uh, but okay, so you saying that. The Israelites is a male dominant society, so they always wouldn't allow a woman to be talking when it's over to men talking. You know, so that goes hand, that's with the culture. Okay, so you saying what, that a man's supposed to only have one wife? I'm saying that's what it says in the New Testament, and I'm showing you the difference between the uh, Mosaic laws, which said that a man can marry you, and where it, it talks about how a man can have more than one wife, when the New Testament says otherwise. And, well, basically, 
it, it basically, listen, you can only have multiple wives if you can afford it. Because it talks about that, that, that in the Old Testament. If you can, basically, if you can afford it. Because you best must be able to, to equally take care of all your uh, women and children the same. So if you can't afford another wife, don't get another wife. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. People just try to do it. Basically, you know, if, you know, if you can't, if you can't afford, there ain't no point. Like Mayweather, he can, he can afford more than one wife. So there's nothing wrong with him to have more than one wife, because he can afford that. Everybody can't do what he can do in this society right now, but he can. But the thing, is, but, but still, what I'm saying is that now you can see that the, that's two different laws. Like, let me get, give you another example. Pull up some scriptures. Like say, uh, I got you. Say like law. God teaches that the law sacrifices. Right? That's what the Bible says. But the law sacrifices done away with, right? Right. And that's one of the 613 laws. So therefore, so we under, uh, we only under 612 laws now, right? Well, he, well, that sacrifice is still, he didn't return, Yahweh Shai hasn't returned yet. So he, I'm saying he still sacrificed his blood for our sins. So we still, we're not, we're still under that law because he hasn't returned to redeem us. But so, I understand what you're saying. But that law was in effect during that time because he died for us for that. You know what I mean? So he was the last sacrificial. He was the last sacrificial lamb, so to speak. Do you, do you wear fringes on your clothes every day? No. What is it blue? That's what I'm saying. Like those laws don't. Those laws. Well, are we, not, I just, I, those not, are not even important laws. To, like, what? Wait, wait, that's, wait, that's wait, not wait, even wait. An wait, wait. See? No, no, that's no. That's a cardinal law. No, 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 brother. Now you messed up right there. Hold on. Doesn't, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have fringes and, and, and blue on your clothes, that doesn't make you a holy person. No, it don't. It don't. But it's to keep you in remembrance of the commandments. That's what the fringes in the border of blue the is for. That was the original purpose. Right, the original purpose for the fringes in the border of blue is to keep you in remembrance of the laws. So you can't, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? It, that, 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 basically it's a second, it's a second guess, like you was about to do some wicked shit and then you'll look at your fringes in your border of that blue. That was part of their culture. Right, you'll because look at your fringes in your border of blue and say, nah, man, I shouldn't be doing this. Cause you'll, you'll have the remembrance all, all, of the laws in your head. All cultures on earth, Hold on, but just a certain way it has certain things right. on, on their clothes. But for you to say that that, that was make a, you less godly. But, but, but well, let me—I'm gonna deal with that situation that you just said. That wasn't important. This is uh, now. This is uh, you know Yahweh Shai, who they call Jesus. This is uh, Matthew's five and nineteen. It says who? It says whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach and shall teach men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You keep reading. You know what I'm so saying? It says to all be fulfilled, right? For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Well, you can read that. I'm, that's why I'm stopping that. Because, because you just said that the laws that that's a, that 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 law don't mean nothing. There's, but it, there's a verse before or after that saying, you know "So all be fulfilled." What are you getting? You at? gonna make me use my dad? On yeah, my go ahead and use your dad. Yeah, you got that. That's doing some work. <laughs> Spending some money on the heavenly father. You're damn right. It says, "To all be fulfilled." Well, you gotta pull it up, Bob. To all be fulfilled, which was all it was already all fulfilled. Listen, it says, yeah, I just read it. Christ fulfilled that. Right, he fulfilled the law. We know he fulfilled the law. And he also stated that if you teach the least, that you will be least in the kingdom of heaven. So what So what do that mean? What are, what are you getting at with that? I'm not understanding. You, you, you teach that uh, only the black, you teach that only black race is superior. No, I don't. That, that's right there. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But if you... Uh, I say so-called. So you say that the Israelites are black. The Judah. The tribe of Judah. Not all Israel. So you not black. I'm not black, bro. Do I look black to you? We the same skin color. I'm not black. But you teach that the Israelites are the No, we teach race. for no. We no, no. That's listen, bro. Israel can look like any nation. You can look like a Chinese man. You can look like a so-called white man. You can look like any nation only, on the face only, of the planet. That's only if they mix with that race. Right. So you're saying that originally all the Israelites was black? Originally everybody in the world was dark skinned. 
not black. Because black is your shirt, brother. I'm, that's that's playing with words. Yeah, no, it's not playing with there's words. No point, there's no point playing semantics. When yeah, me listen. You, there's only me and you talking here. Well, well, I'm just saying because... Why, why throw out symmetrical terms when we know the difference? You know when I'm saying black, I'm saying Negro, uh, say, African. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. And, and never, we never state that all the Israelites are Negroes. That's, that's not in the scriptures, and we, don't, we never taught that. The Native Americans, uh, generally speaking, is a totally different race than black people. How was that so? That's, they're not the same people. How was that so? Black people are from Africa. How was that so? Your, your, your ancestors came from West Africa. Yeah. We, we was yeah, doing Roman persecution. They ran into the, doing Roman persecutions, the Jews ran into the West Coast of Africa. In 70 AD. Uh, hey, you when know Jerusalem your history. Huh? So you're saying in 70, because I know that y'all teach that. So you're saying in 70 AD, every single Jew fled into all the way. No, not every West single Africa. Jew. First of all, the 10 tribes were already scattered. They was already scattered and, and mingled. All of them. Not huh? all of them. Yes, they was. Because the New Testament mentions, uh, the Lord was talking to a woman from the tribe of Asher. So to let you know people from the tribe of Asher was doing they, they was some people but they they first of all when there, when, when you listen when, when you talk about when you talk about scatter it means it, it can mean two different things. Scatter as far as they were scattered amongst other nations and then you're talking about they took away I was just reading about that. They they were still worshiping other so gods. So they was worshiping the other gods being uh, uh Gentiles unto the most high. What I, what I said was I said your answers from West Africa, you said no, we Israelites, we fled in 70 AD, right? Correct. So, have you ever heard of uh So, okay, so what you're telling me, uh, that you're an Israelite, but I'm not. No, that's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the, the way that... Uh, you just said my ancestors came from Africa, that I'm African. So you just said I'm not an Israelite, but you are. That's no. what you just said. No. You just said that. You yeah, just said you my ancestors finish. came from Africa. They did. So I'm an African American. So I'm not Israelite. I didn't say that. I'm not, so you just, I mean, you me, by me being an African American, yeah. I'm not Israelite. Did you, can you prove that you descend from a group of people that weren't originally from West Africa? I'm proving it by doing this. The spirit bears witness no, with my spirit. You can't, can you prove it? You just said you couldn't prove it. So why, why you got your hobble shy tatted on your the, arm? The, 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 you just said you couldn't wait. No, no, no. You just said you couldn't prove it, but yet you said you're Israelite and you got the tat on your arm. But you can't. Well, you just said that. Didn't you not just say that? Anybody? Didn't you not just say that? What makes one an Israelite is the faith in the, in the God of Israel. First of all, that, that's not according to that. Yes, it is according to the word. When the, when the, co when the covenant was, first, was given to the children of Israel, there was people who, were, who weren't even blood related to them that were also under the covenant. People because they was in Israelite. their land. Because they were not Israelites. Because they was in the land. It said the strangers that are among you, that's in your land. If you come to America, you got to follow America's laws. That don't make you an American. But you got to follow their laws regardless. You ain't getting nowhere. With the, race, with the race issue is that you you are part of the black, the, uh, the, the black race that's from sub-Saharan Africa. That's, now, no. what y'all teaching is that, what y'all trying to tell people is that a group of people from the Middle East were, are black, which they not. Now, if you wanted to say that I'm a black person, well, I feel that uh, we mixed with a group of Middle Eastern people that moved to West Africa and mixed with black people, that don't mean that the Israelites is black. The Israelites are brown skin, just like you see when you see Arabs at the corner store. That's the same people. Right. right. We're, and dude, okay, so, okay, so you telling they, me. They not wait, black, wait, like right. their ancestors was when they came from First of all, first of all, listen, this, this, this is, this, now you got to go with common sense a little bit. Because it don't matter if them, them fucking, them Africans that come over here in America, when they had eight babies, don't them babies, aren't them babies just as black as the ones that, aren't them babies just as black as them? No, just answer the question. Like the yes African or no? Baby's black as a right. Uh, nah, like say, no. no, 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 no. Listen, if if them African, them Africans that come over here, what Africans? The, the fucking uh, the uh, Tyree and Sudan ones, them dark, dark, dark ones, the ones they claim we supposed to be, or whatever the case. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Those people are. are do they babies come out looking light skin or or anything of that nature? No, they black as hell, just like them. Our, our, first of all, all the so-called Negroes in America are brown, dark brown, light brown to dark brown, just like you. We're the same color. 
We're the same color. But we deviate from the, the main point I'm trying to make. I'm, I'm not getting it. What I'm saying is that I know that y'all teach that the Israelites is black. What I'm saying is... We